Hey, it's Ryan Holiday. So one of the questions I get asked a lot is, how do I read? How do I break down the books that I read? So here are two of my favorite novels, What Makes Sammy Run, The Great Gatsby. And so you can see, as I'm reading, I'm either using highlighter flags, I just mark the pages and I highlight. And then what I do is I tend to write notes to myself, like, look, there's whole pages of notes. You can even see this book I've read multiple times. So I've gone through with highlighters, different colors over the years. I'm going through and I'm just marking things that I want to come back to later, that I want to think about later. And then I'm going to use later. So again, another novel, this is The Movie Goer. I've written about this for Daily Stoic a bunch of times. These are just the things that, I, that I'm marking and then the notes that I'm leaving myself. And then I'm able to use those things in my writing going forward. And then these would go on four by six note cards, which would go into a book like The Obstacle is the Way. So all these sections, all these uh, note cards were what made up the book, right? So these are just all note cards, that things I've written. So I'm transferring the knowledge that I've found in the uh, book and and then the quotes that I've marked, and then I'm, I'm transferring that knowledge. So this is what the commonplace book ends up looking like. That's how a book gets made. But I don't think you just have to do this for books. I mean, I would be engaging in this process even if I wasn't a writer, just because it helps me synthesize and organize and, 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 and recall the information that I'm figuring out in my reading. But the point is, like when I see a copy of one of my books and it's filled with notes and highlighters and folded pages, that's not going to hurt my feelings in, as an author. That's like the highest praise that you can give a book. So um, tear your books apart, mark them, write in them, show the author that you're really engaging with the material. This is a, an incredibly meaningful thing you can do. This is high praise. This is my life bookshelf, some of the books that have changed my life and had the most influence on me. The Power Broker by Robert Caro, 48 Laws of Power, The Black Swan, Life is Unpredictable, Chuck Palahniuk's Fight Club, Four Hour Work Week, huge. Uh, 33 Strategies of War, obviously Robert Greene's Mastery. Pia Melody, one of my favorite authors. This biography of Johnny Rockefeller, maybe you remember it from The Obstacles Away. This book by John Boyd, if you remember the To Do or To Be speech that's in, the op that's in Ego is the Enemy, that's from there. Malcolm X, The Autobiography, Great Gatsby, What Makes Sammy Run. A friend of mine recommended this biography, William Lee Miller, on President Lincoln. It was one of the books that changed his life. It totally changed how I thought about leadership. The War of Art, Turning Pro, two favorites from Stephen Pressfield. Haruki Murakami's book on running, what I talk about when I talk about running. Ellison's Invisible Man. Again, another book from Pia Melody. Cheryl Strayed's Tiny uh, Beautiful Things. Thich Nhat Hanh's Taming the Tiger Within. The Brass Check, this, this book inspired the name of my marketing company and my book, Trust Me, I'm Lying. This is one of my copies of Meditations. Why Don't We Learn from History by B.H. Liddell Hart. A Prescription for Adversity, a strange book, biography of Ambrose Bierce that I like. Ken Didi, uh, interesting story. I stole this from where I got married. They had this on the shelf. I read it while I was waiting for my wife to get ready so we get married. And I thought, hey, I'm keeping this. A friend sent me a signed copy of What Makes Sammy Run, the Second Mountain. This is a new edition of the shelf. Dr. Drew, who introduced me to Stoicism, great. This is a cool book, Lincoln, the Biography of a Writer. It's an analysis of Lincoln as if he was a writer. This book, Strategy by B.H. Liddell Hart, influenced how I think about strategy. John Graves' Hard Scrabble influenced how I think about my farm. Fishing for Fun, this is a new book I just read by Herbert Hoover about the philosophical benefits of fishing. And yes, Herbert Hoover, the president. Chesterfield's Letters to His Son. Uh, There's another copy of Marcus Aurelius. Seth Godin's The Dip, great book. Neil Postman's Amusing Ourselves to Death. Jane Jacobs, also amazing. Daniel Borston, great. Death Be Not Proud, beautiful book. So these are some of the books. This is my life shelf. I think everyone should have one. Some of these books change. I swap them in and out as books become less relevant, more relevant to me as I go. But, uh, oh, little hint, this is the first gal. This is the copy of The Obstacle of, is the Way that I use to read the audiobook. So it's all filled with pretty cool notes and stuff like that. So, oh, Austin Kleon, Steal Like an Artist. Great. The Way to Love by Anthony DeMeo. A lot of favorite books here. Love them. Check them out. One of my favorite novelists said that if you only read the books that other people are reading, you will only think the things that other people are thinking. 
So how do you cultivate a sort of contrarian reading habit? How do you find hidden or unknown books? How do you find things inside books that other people are missing? How do you build a reading practice in your life that makes you a better thinker, a better philosopher, a better human being? That's what we're talking about in our Daily Stoic Read to Lead Reading Challenge. Every smart person I've met, every real inspiring, successful leader I've ever met has a great reading practice. And we built this course through the principles of Stoicism to help you be a better reader and therefore a better person and a better leader. And you can check that out at dailystoic.com slash reading. They're the practices that I use, the practices that people you admire use, the practices that Marcus Aurelius and Seneca and Epictetus used, all great readers and therefore better leaders. So check it out, dailystoic.com slash reading. You will be challenged by this. I'm not saying it's easy, but a better you will come out of the other side.